With the recent firing of Dave Gettleman, the Carolina Panthers are interviewing with a former colleague of theirs in Marty Herney. Marty Herney was the Panthers GM between 2002 to 2012, and before he was actually fired in 2012 because of his drafting of Jimmy Clausen. If you know how uh, he panned out, if you ever watched the 2010 season, that's all you really need to know about Jimmy Clausen. Now, when it comes to Marty Herney, Marty Herney is the reason why there's a lot of star players are on the Carolina Panthers. He drafted Cam Newton. That might sound like a slam dunk. He also drafted Luke Kukli. That's a good pick. And then he also drafted Josh Norman in the fifth round. Talk about a draft steal. Traded for Greg Olson. Good player. And when you look at it, that's a lot of players that should be and plus stud players that... Um, were or are still on the Carolina Panthers itself. Now, when it comes to Marty Herney, a, a lot of people are talking about how they want to bring him back and whatnot. And when you look at it, Dave Gettleman didn't do anything really impressive. The, this is the, the upside of Dave Gettleman. And just hear me out right here. The upside of it was drafting Calvin Benjamin and drafting Quan Short. And Quan Short... I really like him. He is uh, he gets he got 11 sacks in 2015, and that was the season when they went 15 and one. Now, when you look at the um, look at Quan Short, Quan Short's one of these players where it's pretty special to get 11 sacks in like one season. I know Warren Sapp got like a ridiculous amount when he was in his prime. He got like 16 in a season. And when you look at that, like, interior pass rush means a lot. And the fact that they have Kawan Shore on the roster with Luke Keekley, who also is the best pass rushing middle linebacker in the league, and now you have probably the best pass rushing defensive tackle in the league, both up the middle, that's freaking devastating. You're talking about a potential playoff team right there. So Kawan Short's good. Now, when I look at uh, Kelvin Benjamin, I'm not a big um, Kelvin Benjamin guy. He's a pretty typical, just a tall receiver. Just, he's good. Not great, good. Uh, some people like him. I get it. I, I get it why Panthers fans like him. He's, he's not a bad player, but I just don't think he's super special. Now, with the re, um, when you look at how Dave Gettleman did with the Josh Norman thing, it's absolutely ridiculous. He took back a franchise tag, and it's no mistake to franchise tag freaking Josh Norman because if you look at it. I, there's no problem with that. He's a stud player, and you should keep him. But for some reason, that they're so in love with their zone defense that they think it's the pass rush is the reason that he just didn't want to pay him. And the fact is, you could just simply trade him if you don't want him. Get someone out of it. And this is a good point that Adam Schefter made. You gotta at least, if you're gonna don't want Josh Norman, why don't you just trade him away? Now, with the parting of Josh Norman, I'll say this much. Maybe the Odell Beckham Jr. fight was a reason why. And when he joined with the Washington Redskins, I felt that you could tell he's not as uh, not as aggressive to uh, Odell Beckham Jr. for and tried to um, really go after his uh, Odell Beckham Jr.'s sensitivity. Now, when you look at how how Dave Gettleman and all that formed that, I think that's just a ridiculous reason. To be honest, I would blame that partially on Odell too. Sure, maybe Josh Norman went a little bit too far, but Josh Norman cover corner in this league. Now, is Josh Norman a great corner? I would say he's a good corner. I think he's going to have some good seasons. He's going to have some great seasons. He's going to be a... He's a Pro Bowl corner. That's how I look at him. And one thing for sure you cannot say about Josh Norman. Josh Norman was just playing for a contract in 2050. You cannot say that. Because one thing for sure about Josh Norman was he was emerging late in 2014 season. And so that's when he's really started to get it. He wouldn't just, just certainly just turn it on in 2015 just to just get a paycheck. He was more well known there. I'll give you that. But no, I don't think he would simply do that. And the players that would do that are the ones that are highly talented and highly drafted. Is Josh Norman talented? Yes, but he's a fifth round pick and you're not looking. He's definitely not a first round pick. And first round picks are usually faster. They usually are more polished and all of that. Now, when I look at this and I look at Marty Herney, I think it would be a good idea just to kind of bring him back because he's the reason why the Panthers are good. He kind of built the team. The 2015 team was partially built because of him. And when I look at this, when I look at that, I just 
think to myself to Mari Herney that I'm kind of surprised that they fired him the first base in 2012. And I don't really think age would be a factor there. Because if you look at, at Marty Herney, he's not terribly old. And it's really he's being a GM. And a lot of Panthers are in support of it. I believe Charles Johnson was really looking at um, Marty Herney and says, Ooh, that's my guy right there. And it's definitely going to be a lot better than uh, than what happened to to Dave Gettleman because Dave Gettleman his um, let's just say his departing party uh, wasn't very uh, wasn't very pro Gettleman I'll tell you that much Steve Smith was say kind of joked around with him was like I know how you feel Dave I've been in your shoes before just as if when Steve Smith was there and also getting rid of Steve Smith was also a very very bad mistake because and during the 2015 season if you remember the first five six weeks of the year Steve Smith was a dynamite. He was a really good receiver then. And they lost Kelvin Benjamin early on that season. So if you had Steve Smith, and let's just say he was healthy for 2015. Let's just say he finished off healthy. Imagine having Steve Smith in the Super Bowl on that offense. Because really, when I look at the offense of the Carolina Panthers, they don't really feel like they're that kind of tough, kind of great team. Sure, Steve Smith might. You could classify him as a diva. But you also have to look at him. He's a very feisty guy. And if you look at a Julian Edelman, Julian Edelman has a lot of feist. That's why he comes up big in the Super Bowl. So when I look at Steve Smith, I think Steve Smith is one of these tough players where you kind of want him to be in the Super Bowl. Imagine if he had that toughness there. Could the Super Bowl outcome could have been different? Possibly. Yeah, but he had to be healthy, of course. And that's also a bad departure by him. Also, D'Angelo Williams. But departing with him, DeAndre Williams was still a good player by that point. He might have been a backup, but you're still looking at a good player. And apparently, Marty Herney did not want to pay uh, DeAndre Williams. And when I look at that, I kind of understand he was an older running back. He was rumoring a lot of trades. And I just look at that, and I just felt that's just a bad decision. That's just a bad choice right there. And I just look at that and think to myself... You can't really just give her Ray like just a backup running back. I know he he just still had some production. He was still a thousand yard rusher to this day. I think he could get out there and probably be a solid starting running back. And at the end of the day, it's just little signs like that that kind of drive them. You know, just little things. Just you're departing with a player that did well without you. It may be doing better without you because now he's on a. Well, he's no longer on the Steelers, but you know doesn't want to sign up the Panthers just because of that reason and when I look at this it's little stuff like that now let it go Ted Ginn I don't really care about I'm not a big Ted Ginn guy I don't even think he's that good I think he's very overrated click in the description if you want to see that video and I just look at this Carolina Panthers thing and Marty Herney was the reason why this Panthers team was good Dave Gettleman was there just to kind of mess up the whole thing now, the reason why Dave Gettleman was hired was just to be tough on the players, I guess. Because apparently, he, he, he apparently went up to John Beeson and said John Beeson was faking an injury. And John Be that didn't go very well with John Beeson. He ended up being still pretty good for the New York Giants. And I just think, eh, that's, that's just kind of being a little bit too, too... Uh, bossy right there because you can't really be that bossy when you don't really have a good reason with it. I don't really think he was faking an injury and whatnot. And so when I look at uh, Marty Herney, definitely a very, very good us guy right there. And I just look at him and think to myself that you no, know, maybe that with this with this whole thing, I still think the Panthers can go back to the playoffs and still do something. I really do. I really think that they can go back to the playoffs and maybe make a little bit of a run. But I also look at it and think to, to myself that it might take a couple of years for the Panthers for Marty Herney to stay in. Because Marty Her um, Herney is just going to be here for an internship. So, or be in tournament um, kind of intern, um, that GM, where he's just going to be the general manager for a season. And when I look at that, I feel like yeah, that might be good. I think it would, wouldn't be a terrible long-term choice either because I think Murray Herney, he's not too old. He's fairly on the younger side. Well, younger side for personnel. He's he's probably in his 60s. 
And I just see that. I think Marty Herney could be a legit help factor to help out the Panthers go to another Super Bowl.